what I'm interested in is not just the story, uh, but also, you know, those gray areas and those things that, you know, we can't quite understand, but, but we know are there. Uh, hi, my name is Matt Dunn. My project, The Killing Sink, is being exhibited at Manningham Art Gallery. The work is about the deliberate killing of wedge-tailed eagles in Victoria. Um, it's an illegal practice that has gained a lot of visibility recently as a number of high-profile court cases have been brought to light. My project is a photographic one and it sort of seeks to look at uh, what's gone on, the animals, the tools used to kill them and, and the places where these things have happened. It's a, a little bit true crime and it's a little bit sad. The Killing Sink um, is a title that refers to when a territorial animal is killed or removed from an area, more move in. Uh, if someone is removing them or killing them, it starts a cycle where there's almost like a funnel of animals continually moving to the area only to be you know, killed, murdered or removed. So one of the first things people notice is that the images are black and white. Uh, some of them are, are quite soft. Some of them maybe don't even look that real, but others look really uh, like a newspaper photograph. This is really deliberate. Part of the work is, is documentary. I wanted to show things that had happened, were happening, that, that are true in a real sense of the word. Uh, so I used aesthetics of newspaper phot photography, hard flash, deep blacks. Something I would really like people who see this work to know is there are a number of landscapes shown and these are not just random landscapes. Each one is taken at a place where someone deliberately killed a wedge-tailed eagle. Uh, I did a lot of research, I spoke to a lot of people in the field and made a quite comprehensive map of everywhere I could find in Victoria where something had happened and then I drove out looked around and, and took a picture. So any of the trees or sunrises or anything you see is actually a site where something really unpleasant has happened. I think a lot of what the work meant for me is sort of looking at these places differently and, and feeling that there was something latent in a lot of the landscape uh, that, that I would drive through. One picture that I really like is uh, one of a steel jaw trap. It's a large trap, it's what's called a dog trap. These are illegal to use, illegal to possess. So it's quite hard to find one to photograph. The one photograph was actually found in a national park. Somebody picked it up and, and just hadn't quite thrown it out yet. Uh, the picture is quite violent. It's quite brutal in a way. You know, this is a tool of violence. But I like the photo because it sort of speaks to the need to look at these things and think about what we do honestly. Um, we can't move on unless we acknowledge what we've done. There are two things I'm really looking forward to coming up this year, both are happening in July. I've been working with an international publisher to create a book of this work. It's something that's taken a little bit over two years, so I'm really keen to see the final product. At the same time, I also have a really large solo exhibition of the work uh, to coincide with the book launch. So it's gonna be fantastic to have even more of it on display than I've been able to show at Manningham.